Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I'd like to do a spread today on that orb we got yesterday at the 752 mark. Yes. Thank you for mentioning it. I would never have known. And then I watched it a couple times. I was like, wow. So I did go from this side of the camera across to that side. And that was Harry's seed. It was Harry's seed that was lost from the first pregnancy, first surrogate. And there was a there, there was some losses. They had failed surrogacy is what happened. And so I feel that that's what that was. So I want to do some cards on this orb. This orb wants to come back in. Privately, I did do some rating on it. And the, the it wants to, it wants a chance at life. And so that's why it came across the camera screen yesterday. It wants back in, you guys. It wants back in. It was an unstable pregnancy, unstable uh, home environment within the pregnancy, within the surrogate's body. And it was just basically an unstable pregnancy is what I got. But I want to find out what does this orb want to say? What does this orb want to say? Here we go. Orb wants to say, wow. Wow. Yes, it was a loss, lack, lack of communication. The orb wanted to come in. It wanted to be the gift of life. It wanted to bring in with the page of pentacles, that new energy coming in, being motivated, manifesting that child became a source of pain, suffering, and upheaval, and cannot communicate. Orbs can't talk, so it's full of pain. It's... um. It's a suffering position, and so yes, this child would like to communicate, would like to communicate with the energy, and that's, what else is that? That's like a little orb saying, hey, I didn't make it, I can't talk to you, but I'm going to show you who I am. Let's get to the challenging position, the challenging position, that pop, challenging position. It had to do the sad goodbye. The sad goodbye. It did the sad goodbye and it became in a stuck position. So emotionally stuck, but wants to come back in. So the child does want to come back in. There you go. That's leaving painful place for more potential. Here you go. But here we go. Challenging position. It wants to come back. It does want to come back. So there you have that. So let's get to the next position, the focal point, the focal point, focal point. What we have here is the king of wands in reverse. The focal point being not ready. It wasn't ready. It was an immature position with the child, the pregnancy, and it just uh, no, it could not make that commitment. Couldn't make the commitment. And it was at a very young part of the pregnancy. Um, there was no confidence in it. There was no optimism with it. It didn't have the power behind it, the energy behind it to actually come in. So it's it basically went out. Also, it can represent also uh, overbearing energy, overbearing, uncommunicative energy. It can't communicate. It doesn't know how to communicate. It is in a position of silence here. So total silence and pain, um, feeling like maybe also that Harry maybe is not ready to be a father uh, because the king of wands in reverse is, is a husband, fa is not husband, father material. So maybe Harry is the wrong father for this so-called, for this child, for this orb. So not, um, it was basically being told, no, nope, this isn't going to be the father for you. So let's get to the past position that no longer serves. Past position that no longer serves. Past position that no longer serves is it was basically, there was no power behind it. The emperor is all about being focused on power, being untouchable, uh, worldly success, uh, being respected, high standards. So in this position, it's also not ready to be a father. Wow. So it's looking like it lost its grip. It lost its grip. I'm feeling it's looking like with this spread, that energy source said Harry's not ready to be a father. Harry's not ready to be a father. Harry's not going to be the father. I did get it was, it was Harry's seed. It was not Megan's egg. So it just not ready for life uh, with Harry. Sad, but that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, and um, took control of the situation. Uh, it is dictator energy, 
and it did the sad goodbye. So created pain. Let's get to the hidden energy, the hidden energy world in reverse with the eight of wands in reverse. So basically with the world in reverse is it was not its time. Uh, it is unfinished business, unfinished business. There was no harmony and balance within the pregnancy and it has been through the fool's path. It understands, but it feels like it's unfinished business. Uh, also, we have here with the eight in the reverse position, eight of wands, uh, not being able to overcome the situation with the lack of balance and harmony that was in the surrogate. And it was the wrong job. It was the wrong job also because this is about jobs, relations, and friends. Uh, it was the wrong job for the surrogate. It's unfinished business. And the low boundaries here, un unable to complete it. Uh, the Eight of Wands in reverse is also giving up. So the seed gave up. It was not its time. It wasn't its time to come in. It just gave up and gave up on coming into the world at this particular time. Finish business in reverse. So not getting what you want, in essence. Could not get what it wanted. Harry could not get what he wanted. Harry lost out. Couldn't get what he wanted. Not your time, not yet. So basically spirit saying it wasn't Harry's time. It was Harry's seed, but not Harry's time. Uh, let's get to the future, the future. The future for this orb, the future for this orb. Future for this orb, Ace of Swords, clarity of thought. Ace of Swords is having a breakthrough insight and controlled action. Uh, it's also the surgery card. Uh, could have required some surgical intervention uh, to deal with the failed pregnancy. Uh, so basically, yeah, so this here, something, some breakthrough insight came in uh, and wasn't probably positive because that can be surgery right there. So possibly had to have some surgical intervention to take care of that false pregnancy, that issues with that pregnancy became a problem. Uh, privately, I did get that it happened quickly, unexpectedly. It was fighting energy of the Knight of Swords. So, and this could have been where there was some intervention that came in. Let's get to the feelings in the situation, feelings in the situation for this orb. Feeling situation, feelings in the situation. Yeah, feelings in the situation, it wanted to manifest. It wanted the love bomb and come in quickly. Uh, maybe this pregnancy was something at a rapid pace happened and it, it was hard working. It's the hard working. It's the manifesting, trying to love bomb, trying to come in, uh, fulfilling a contract. It was a contract with a, uh, with a surrogate and hoping for success at a rapid pace moving towards you. Uh, so it was planning on coming in. It was hoping to come in. And but they also this child was meant for PR for Mar Markle's Markle's manifesting right. Uh, so basically, this manifesting coming in was the feelings in the situation, hoping to love bomb the world, was the goal. The goal was to come in and love bomb the world through via PR. That's why also you're not really ready to be a father because basically using the child for love bombing PR machine. Uh, so it's kind of the bully position, dictator position. It's not your time. So that's why the sad goodbye happened. It's almost like negative karma came in and said, no, we know what you're doing here. You're not getting this. It's it's going to come into a loss here. A cutting, it could be very much a cutting energy. The breakthrough insight happened uh, basically. And so this also can represent the surgery, the cutting out dealing with mental blocks when it goes into reverse it is about mental blocks and lies so it had this clarity of thought that this is about a bullying situation falseness here protection creating pain lack of communication lying about the communication of the child was going to create some pain uh, this orb was like, no, I don't think so. This may not be right time for me. Uh, let's do the sad goodbye here uh, because I'm meant for a PR machine here to love bomb the public, uh, meant for business, meant, meant, meant for business purposes. Uh, let's go into the outside influences. Outside influences was for the Ten of Cups. Yeah, uh, to appear as though we have this happy family, the perfect happy family, the wish fulfillment for growth, luxury, 
uh, to achieve stability, um, you know, for power, for being told yes, dreams coming true. Uh, so that's what uh, the aim was to give that emotional fulfillment for PR and business. Child, the orb said, no, I don't want these parents. I, I don't want these parents. This is not my time. So it's like karma stepped in, basically. Let's get to the hopes and fears, hopes and fears, hopes and fears, hopes and fears, hangman and reverse. It's for selfish purposes, for traitor energy. Uh, it's not meant for the for the highest cause, for the high. It, it wasn't meant for the, the right purposes, uh, very selfish aims and not able to take a new perspective. I think this orb did not want to come in for selfish aims. Basically, karma really came in here knowing that they were not going to be self-sacrificial with this child. It was meant for PR. This child was meant for business purposes. Not willing to just do it for showy purposes, to pretend to be this happy family, which they did. They pretended to have this happy family. Uh, and so they were faking it. Faking it, it was in the body of another woman. Let's get to the final call. Final call. Ten of Wands in reverse. It reached full burnout. Uh, and there was just a lack, a, a lacking position. Uh, the It was not reached. Success was not reached. It became a no card, total burnout, and saying no. Saying no, 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 no. I'm not taking on this heavy responsibility uh, to make it appear as though you have this happy family. You're not willing to truly self-sacrifice or see clarity of thought or ha take on new perspectives. And it is not a self-sacrificial energy. So it's looking like they would not have been good parents. Would not They weren't ready to be parents. As we know, they behave like teenagers. Uh, everyone says they're like a pair of teenagers. It was strictly for facade management of the happy family for PR measures. And this, this seedling, this orb, this child is like, no, I don't want to carry this heavy responsibility, this burden. And this is bully energy, dictator energy. And it's not my time. It's not my time. These were low boundaries here. And uh, we're not going to be able to overcome this situation. And I'm, you know, let's, let's just, you know, not do this. I'm, you know, don't hold your breath. It's not, it's not my time. It's just not your time. So the child realized it's not my time. It wasn't my time. I'm just used uh, for other people's benefit here. And it's not for the right, right reasons. So the pregnancy was for the wrong, wrong reasons. The bottom of the deck, we have high priestess in reverse. So with the high priestess in reverse, that's for an antisocial person. I feel this is because of Megan. Very, It was for superficial purposes with no depth. Uh, there was no aces in the feelings, no spark, you know, no energy, uh, negative energy. It was low vibe, uh, no spirit connection. Uh, it's betrayal. It is not having confidence. It is by a woman who doesn't see things clearly. Uh, there's no depth and not amused by the situation. Weak character. So this child did not want to be coming into this position of shallow, weak characters using the child for facade management. Facade management and PR. And that's why this child was lost because it was for, it was not for the right purposes. And so this child was able to get out of the situation, this energy, this spirit was able to say, nope, 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 not this time, not this time. No, 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 no. Okay. So let's get to the feeling, to the center of the deck. Queen of Wands. Yep. It was to make Margle, Markle rise up. And we have here King of Swords in reverse, cruelty, cutting out. So basically not want cutting out of the situation because it was for, for, um, for lies and deception. Uh, it was unjust, uh, not having a logical, clear father here, um, going along with her ambitions, with the Queen of Wands ambitions to make her look like she is queen of hearth and home. And cutting out of the situation with the King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords in reverse is cruel, cutting off. Uh, it was for selfish aims for Megan. And uh, it's nasty and competent energy here. 
and not wanting to participate in helping her rise up. So I'm feeling this seedling did not want to help Markle rise up or help Harry with his selfish aims of being with her. He turned dark being with her. He became a dark individual being with her. It's not the right time for him. It has not been the right time for him to be a father. We've got all these reversals here. Harry's not prepared to be a father. And that's what it's saying. Uh, and I do feel it was his seed, but not hers. And it was to help her rise up and help her on her fool's journey path, taking a risk, taking that risk, taking that risk and falling on their horse emotionally. Could not put out that loving message with the Knight of Cups upright would be putting out that loving message. Oh, we succeeded. Here we go. Look at this. It's a message we're celebrating. Putting out that positive message, that seedling, that energy was like, oh, no, you aren't. You're going to fall on your head, Markle. You're not going to do it with me for your gain. And there is no healing, no hope. Uh, this here, there was no, we're not going to make you a star here. Uh, dreams, dr you know, the life of dreams being in reverse. Uh, the goal in reverse, the long-term goal in reverse, there was no hope, no healing, no optimism. The egg, the, the seedling was insecure and it was a discouraged seedling. So it was not able to bring that life, life force forward. Uh, the chakras were not in alignment. The pregnancy was not in alignment. You're not doing it for your own fame and attention to use me. It's not going to happen. You're not going to use me for your own emotional needs. So you can, you can use me for your PR. I'm going to have you fall on your face with this horse uh, on your fool's journey here. You have clouded, blocked insight. Uh, does not want that shallow, weak characters to be the parents for PR maneuver and facade management of the happy family. When really, there was no sacrifice coming from them whatsoever because it was used by a surrogate. Reaching full burnout here, creating this lack of communication, three of swords pain. Uh, and the seedling was started here, was going to bring out this positive good news offer of motivation, this new energy coming in, trying to gain skills along the way in life, building up a life of being here. Uh, not going to happen. It just went crashing down very early on. So that's how I see it. I hope you enjoy this and thank you for watching. And if you want to see that orb, Go back to yesterday's video and you will see it at the 7.52 mark. All right, you guys, have a great evening and thank you for watching. Bye.